Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see uh, exception handling with Mule ESB. So basically, Mule provide two type of exception handling. One is system handling, system exception, and other is a message exception. What is a system exception? System ex exception is generated automatically. Then there is some issue while connecting to the database, you know, like while connecting to any web ser any services or any JMS, JMS like that. So it this is you know the error you know generated by the Mule ESB itself. Okay, but what about the message exception? So Mule provide the various good framework for you know handling the message exception. So we will going to see those in the demonstration. Right. So why we require the exception? It is very important to have a exception handling in your application. You know, like suppose you you have a big flow, okay, and now you want to know where exception has come. What is the issue? What is the error? Even you have to, have to send you know like user friendly friendly message to the end client. So you have to use the exception handling. We are going to see right now. So what I will do? I will create a file, new new project. I will say exception. Handling app for runtime. I will keep 3.8.3. You can change depending on your requirement. Rest of the setting, no need to touch. I will say next, next, and finally I will say finish. So it will create an empty application for you. So first I will drag and drop HTTP listener component. Fine. I will going to configure it under connector configuration. I will keep all setting as a default. At the path, I will give error. And I will use the gap method. Other thing, we will require a flow variable to read a queue reference from inbound message. So I will say set variable. I will say read destination. I will say message dot inbound dot HTTP QRM dot Destination. Okay, just a minute. Uh, let me wait. Uh, destination. You can. Okay, this variable name can be changed. Okay, depending on your query parents. Okay, we have set that variable. Now, I will call web service consumer to consume the service. Let me find the URL. This is my URL. I will going to do connector configuration. So I have to click on this add button. Let's wait. It is opening a dialog for us. Sometimes it takes a time. Okay, let's okay. I will just I will copy paste my WSDL path. It will populate service and port and address for you automatically. I will say OK. Now we need to select operation. I will say find flight. Now I want to transform message between variable and the web service consumer. So what uh, the web service consumer is expecting one input parameter that is destination. So I will map with a flow variable. Now finally I want to convert XML to JSON. Okay, that you have to do. We will do exception handling afterwards. Let me start application and just start testing. Okay, the application has been deployed. Now we will going to test it. I want to pass on pair uh, parent. I will say same. Okay, we got the response back. Now what I will do? I will remove this. I will say same. See, we got error. We got error, but that is not user friendly, right? It was saying flow variable dot decision, but end client will never understand what is this error, right? So for that, what we have to do? We will going to use the exception handling. So we have a catch exception strategy. So let me drag and drop catch exception strategy into the error handling. Then I have to set 
payload and you can set some HTTP properties also so for that I can use a property so what I will do I will going to configure a property I will set property under name I will give HTTP dot status this is reserve keyword so you can set status I will say 400 for payload I can say destination is missing fine and if you want to print the exception also you can do that slash n plus you can write simply exception save it it will deploy the application for you let's wait okay let me send again we got error like destination is missing and this is what exception we have print so it's this time at least we have a user friendly friendly error so now i can pass the destination again it should work now okay i want to show you one more thing so you have set the status 400 bit request fine now other thing suppose you have removed the transform message let's save the application let me send i'll pass the parameter also this time but still we got a error destination is missing because this time we have sent a destination but still it was saying a destination is missing so what we will do we will go to see other thing so instead of this i will remove this part so we have something called choice exception strategy so in choice exception strategy you can handle the multiple types of error okay so let me do one thing uh, in under under choice exception strategy you can define a multiple accepts multiple case exception strategy this is one okay i will go to backend so i will just what i will do i will copy this case exception strategy two times okay so let's see see it has two now so just make one thing you all has to make sure there should be some default exception strategy uh, should be available with choice exception strategy you will going to understand right now let me start with some settings first i will set property okay then i will set payload here what i can say set property as you mentioned like as i mentioned http dot status is a reserve keyword and the value i can say what is the i will say 500 okay and under payload i will say data and available please try later fine and i will print the exception also slash n plus exception and you click on this you can set like execute when when you need to execute this block so you can set the mel i will say exception dot cause matches there are various cause by cause matches so we will use cause matches let me correct this pin cause matches here I will say com dot mule for because we are have some error with transform message. So I will say view dot star anything related to transform message, any error related to anything. So it should show here. Okay. But let me change some set payload. Set payload data is unavailable. Instead of that, I will say, I will say, destination is missing, not able to transform message. Fine. Now we will go to this is our default. Here we will not going to okay put any exception like if something is not match in our you know above exception so it will go come to default if you have a five six block 
at the end there should be a default exception without any you know execute when statement let me set a property again property i say set payload okay here i will give a name i will give again i will give have a http dot status okay i can say this time 400 and i will say let me do here i will say all other exceptions i will set payload here i will say error while executing flow try after some time here i will say plus slash n plus exception as usual let me first test with the happy flow transform message i will drag and drop transform message here let me set the transform i will setting i will set do the mapping i will save my application okay here i will send message we got a successful response now let me remove destination okay let me send the message it was saying destination is missing not able to transform the message fine so this transform message was expecting on parameter destination but it is not available hence it has executed our first block okay now what i will do okay that's fine now i will remove this transform message i will save my application i will put again i now i will send my destination Let's see what error we get. Let me send. This time it was saying error while executing the flow. Try after some time. So this time you know like destination is present, so it has executed the other block. Okay, the by default one. And this is how you can use the choice exception strategy to handle the multiple exception. Now, like you can have a scenario like you have multiple flow. in your configuration xml in your xml but if you want your accepts you know accepts and handling which is global to all flow if you want to do that i am going to show you, you how can you do that you go to configuration xml simply you just you know cut uh, from choice exception to end you just cut it and and paste it after flow you can see one error okay so not a is not a issue first thing you have to define the name here so you can say choice exception handling you have to give the name when you are defining globally you have to give the name fine so how can you call it here so we have a exception flow reference so let me search for exception flow reference reference exception strategy you just drag and drop here go to here and select the exception this is my exception strategy but still there is a problem so what you have to do like go to configuration xml okay remove this spaces here choice exception strategy you don't want remove space you want to remove this spaces here it doesn't accept the spaces again go back to the message flow go to reference and select the okay i will put my transform message again into the place i will just map it save it let's check console okay let me send message again we got successful response now let me check if our exception is working or not then see destination is missing not able to transform the message still it is working and you can have a other flow under that again you use a reference reference exception strategy and you can use you know your global exception strategy there is one other more way like you if you have a three four you know X, uh, xml configuration file you know you have a various flow in the different xml file but if you want to use the same exception exception strategy for all the flows and for all the configuration file what you have to do for that so let me you have to define one configuration file new new configuration you can say global 
dot xml finish okay go to the previous flow go to configuration xml remove that exception part from that flow and now go to global xml let okay you need to remove the okay go to flow here and remove this also no need of this go to global dot xml go to configuration file okay between under mule you can just paste it whatever you have cut from the exception handling app configuration file okay now you go to message flow here you can see your exception now what you have to do you have to go to global area main you have to say create you can say you search for configuration wait wait uh, let me remove this uh, under global configuration go to global configuration okay here default exception strategy you can say choice exception strategy okay now go to there now in this flow we don't have a exception that exception handling we have defined it globally uh, one minute let me rename this file by mistake i give to xml remove one of the dot xml okay now you have defined the exception globally so if you have a more configuration file that you know by default this exception handling will be executed fine okay the application has been deployed now let me pass let's send it got successful response okay now one more thing suppose uh, you have one exception handling in the global but you you know you have some flow some of the flow doesn't want to use the global exception strategy so what you can do so you can okay simply define the exception handling for that flow okay and it will override the global exception handling right so this is how you can no make you drop exception handling into a mule flow if you enjoyed my video just subscribe to it thanks for watching video